Mark, Seattle City Attorney Pete Holmes said today there are roughly 50 retailers throughout the city like this one behind me, and a lot of money goes in and out thanks to a system which now has an air of uncertainty. If marijuana is mainstream, it is here. <laughs> Uncle Ike's in Seattle's Central District is more than a drugstore. It has parlayed pot into a small-scale empire. Yeah, you say that, that's $50 that's and 40 cents. Selling glassware, clothing, it even owns the car wash next door and has expanded to other spots on Capitol Hill and White Center. I think we're lucky to have the team we have in place. In fact, owner Ike Eisenberg is part of the city council's select small business advisory committee, further solidifying establishment credentials. Yet today, he did have a thought it could all go up in smoke, so to speak. Well, that's unsettling. I think I woke up this morning much more concerned. 1860 coming back your way today. That's because of the complex nature of financial transactions for a federally banned substance. Eisenberg accepts cash only for cannabis, cards for other items, and uses a credit union to process revenue. A federal crackdown on financial institutions could have a ripple effect. We'd have to change the way we do business. It would make drastic changes, but I think the industry would figure it out and we'd work around it, but it would make things a lot more difficult. The CEO of locally owned Salal Credit Union, which handles Ike's transactions, issued a statement today saying in part, we will be working closely with our state and federal regulators to determine impacts, if any, to banking the cannabis industry by this recent news. Until then, we will continue to serve our members' banking needs. Eisenberg does not plan on making immediate changes to what has become a cannabis conglomerate. Eisenberg told me today that he appreciated hearing the city leaders take a hard line stance about the news out of Washington, D.C., and believes that the state of Washington already has some of the toughest regulations in the country for the marijuana industry. Live tonight in Seattle Central District, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.